Welcome back to the Famous Room channel. Little People Big World kicked off a new season on Tuesday night, but they did so by revisiting an old and unfortunate issue. The popular TLC program premiered with To Sell or Not To Sell, an episode that focused primarily on Matt and Amy once again butting heads over the future of their farm in Oregon. Filmed months ago, the installment took us back to when the ex-spouses were discussing Amy selling a portion of her property to Matt and moving not too far away. As has been covered already, this transaction went through in November of last year. But fans saw this week for the first time just how challenging the gigantic change was for Amy, and just how much of a hard time she was given about it by her former husband. I got engaged, I bought a house and I have two new grandchildren, Amy says in the cut clip recapping the past year or so. Chris hasn't moved into the house full time, but we are working hard to make this house our own, life on the farm has definitely changed for me. I'm very excited to see where my life goes, but definitely leaving the farm after 30 years is not easy. It will feel strange not to be waking up each morning at the farmhouse, but I'm excited for this new adventure. Matt, meanwhile, was glad to have the real estate deal done, but he talked about the decision that still lay ahead. Amy's living on the north side in the big house, which was still owned together, he explained while delving into his buyout plans with girlfriend Karen Chandler on the premiere. Since she bought a new house, she's going to be moving out soon, so we're going to need to figure out what we want to do with that side of the farm. Elsewhere, the parents of four came together to try to finalize the sale, but this conversation turned heated, personal and even a bit ugly. You would be selling any memory of 20 years ago, Matt told Amy trying to sympathize with her. You'd be getting money from the thing, the thing you spent 20 years building up, you would be getting money from that and you'd be waving goodbye too. Yes, exactly, Amy admitted in a subsequent confessional classifying Matt less as understanding and more as bullying. As she explained in a candid moment, I feel a vulnerability and I do not feel strong or tough, or the confidence that I always thought I had dealing with Matt and I think that's happened for so many years. He intimidates me and he can intimidate me very easily or I allow him to do that. I don't think he's trying to hurt me, I just don't think he's aware of what he does. Weeks after Matt's initial offer, Amy followed up with a counteroffer and the pair eventually agreed on a price. Matt then ended up buying 32 acres of Rolla Farms from Amy just this past August, taking out a loan of $825,000 to do so. What does this mean for Amy's stake in the actual business? We'd have to imagine it will be greatly diminished if not erased entirely. But we'll also need to wait until a new season to find out, because Kimura stopped rolling in these latest episodes a long, long time ago. The exes who got married in 1987 bought the Oregon property together in 1990 for $185,000. Crazy, right? Whatever happens down the line, both can say for certain that they made out extremely well in this business endeavor. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.